MC Hulala in the building, rebuilding. Now we did here. Welcome to Nigeria. Corona, Uncle Corona. <laughs> Look, as a matter of fact, something is killing Nigerians more than Corona. And that is Nigeria. Nigeria is the only country that normal people don't go into politics. Normal people are afraid to go to politics because it's not for normal people. Now, abnormal people, they join politics for Nigeria. Koro, Uncle Koro, look at now, NCDC, don't carry Koro, they do business. He said, make we no jolly cakes. This government said, make we no jolly cakes. If this kind of thing can happen to Raymond Dokwesi, the owner of AIT, this goes to tell you how the poor ones are suffering in the hands of these people. Nigeria is the only country that journalists don't have freedom of press. Journalists cannot write what he wants to write. They can only write what they ask them to write. The press is controlled by the politicians. Televisions, radio stations are being given guide on what to say. Welcome to Niger. You cannot question any leader in Nigeria, especially the presidency. Now we have presidency, we don't have president. We have group of people now who parade themselves as the presidency and not the president. Because when our president cannot talk, it means we don't have president. Welcome to Nigeria. Now the vice president too is not there and nobody is talking. For how many months? President have not said anything. The vice president too never talk anything. And still, nobody they question what is happening. Welcome to Nigeria. The only country where there is no truth. Lies is the order of the day. Every politician has a bag as a pocket. Welcome to Nigeria. The only country that the security man with the arm kill more than the bandit. Welcome to Nigeria. Since how many months now? Ose Banjo is not seen. And no Yoruba media is questioning that. Only one person came out yesterday to say, where is our brother? And nobody cares. That is Nigeria for you. Welcome to Nigeria. The only country where the blind lead about 200 and something million people. Where the deaf lead people that are okay. Where the lame lead people that are normal. Where the blind man with walking stick is leading congregation of people. Welcome to Nigeria. Where if you say the truth, you will die. And people are afraid to talk. Welcome to Nigeria. The only country that coronavirus is channeled as a business plan. As something that is lucrative, that will fetch us international money. Welcome to Nigeria. The only country that indigenous technology are suppressed with the foreign manipulations and importations. Welcome to Nigeria. The only country that poor man is not supported. The old men are the leaders. Why the youths are jobless? Welcome to Nigeria. The only country that the masses resort to individuals for help and provisions of social amenities instead of the government. Welcome to Nigeria. The only country that even the leader is afraid of the leadership itself because he does not trust himself. Welcome to Nigeria. The only country, even the bank, is afraid to save money because the bank does not trust itself. Welcome to Nigeria. The only country that you will be forced to accept that you are infected with COVID-19 so that the business go on as usual. The only country that someone is being tested without showing him the result and the result will be publicized to the world 
without the patient seeing the result. Welcome to Nigeria. If this kind thing can happen to this man of AIT, who is a known man, who the whole world knows him, and he is a journalist, he's everything. If such can happen to him, if he could be subjected to such ill treatment, what about the poor people on the street? No wonder we see the people, they say they are in isolation centers, jumping out of isolation centers, saying we are kept here without being treated and no food, nothing, nothing. And some people are going home with millions as a result of that. Welcome to Nigeria. The only country where only the deaf, people who don't hear, the blind, the lame, people who don't walk, are the people occupying our seats. Now, Aso Rock is empty, and nobody can question that. Ghana, Ghana here, Ghana here. People used to call president on phone and ask him questions. Sometimes he will come to the media, he will sit live, and everybody will be calling him east, west, north, and south giving him questions but if you do that in nigeria who will you do it to when you have a president that is pictorial now chief of staff is being appointed and we only saw picture and nobody is saying anything oc banjo is nowhere to be found nobody is saying anything what we have in nigeria is presidency I know we are practicing presidential system of government, but that is not a presidential system of government. Now, Femi Adeshina keep lying to Nigerians that this is the style of this presidency, that he choose to pre-record a video before a live broadcast is made to 200 and something million people. Welcome to Nigeria. Look. This is MC Hulala in the building, rebuilding. This is how we will be rebuilding the building until the day, until the day Biafra will come. Because that is the only thing. Whether you like it or not, whether you hate it or you like it, no matter where you are based, where you are living, you are in Nigeria for the fact that you were born in Nigeria. You are a Nigerian. And that is why you are feeling the way I am feeling. That is why you are feeling the pain. And that is why we pray and walk that Biafra will come. Because that is the only hope. In fact, I'm beginning to think that Satan is from Nigeria. Where nothing good can come out of. I am being sincere to myself. If I don't tell myself the truth, I cannot tell it to anybody. I'm being sincere to myself. Yes! MC Hulala in the building, rebuilding. I said, and I repeat, quote me anywhere you go. I said, I am beginning to think that Satan is from Nigeria, where nothing good can come out. Look at the country we have. Coro coronavirus. People that are having symptoms of malaria that are suffering malaria, that have been treated with malaria tablets, you subject them and you compel them to accept that they have coronavirus just because you want to make money from the World Health Organization. Now they say there is no vaccine. I am surprised that even the white to play such bad politics. And now Nigeria want to import such politics to us. Now a lot of people have been discharged. What did you use to treat them? There is no vaccine, I accept. Because the people who gave us the sickness have not approved their vaccine. And as such, we cannot treat our people. Now, according to you now, Dr. Percy was infected with COVID-19. And now, after some days, he is free, healthy and sound. Even the entire family, even the father that is very old, that you say is positive. What did you use to treat the man? Nigeria. Everything is business as usual. Welcome to Nigeria. We pray and hope that Biafra will come.
because that is the only hope. Listening to this wonderful song by this young man called Emaimbe, Uncle Corona. Now I am talking to Uncle President or Uncle Presidency, Buhari Osibanjo. In fact, the only man we know now is Femi Adeshina. Adeshina, Nigerians are begging you with God. Do you want us to die finish before you do the right thing? You want everybody to die before you accept the fact that Buhari is not there or that Buhari is there. What if Buhari is not there? Okay, I want to assume that maybe Buhari is sick and that he is being isolated. Why can't the vice president talk and address the nation? Why are you showing us pictures every time? Edited pictures, photoshopped pictures. Welcome to Nigeria. Nigeria is the only place that people don't believe the truth. People are afraid to say, now I have chosen to say the truth. Because they say it is only the truth that will set you free. I want to be free, and that is why I am saying it. MC Hulala in the building, rebuilding.